Hello, um, in an earlier video on Coulomb's law, um, which says that the force is equal to Q1, Q2 times a constant over the distance between them. Now that applies to um, two points, um, either spheres or just pinpoints with, and they have, if they're both positive, for instance, they have what's known as a radial electric field. Going out like that. Okay, now I'll just, I'll just put one in, otherwise they'll attract each other. So this has got a radial electric, uh, electric, uh, electric field, and that's given by the, the equation electric field strength is equal force over positive, uh, positive test charge, and is equal to F times K times Q1 over R squared. Okay, now, however, that's for point charges or spheres, but we're gonna get parallel plates here. And for parallel plates, let's draw them like this. Um, it is in fact different. So let's say this has got a potential of 400 volts, and this has got a potential of zero volts. Okay, rather than having this radial effect, um, you'll find that um, the field the field lines are in fact um, parallel. Okay, and also the same distance apart. And as they're the same distance apart, um, what that will mean is that the electric field strength is going to be the same. Now, but the very, very edges of parallel plates, um, it does in fact curve a bit, but we generally don't concern ourselves with that. So, but within that area there, you'll find that the um, electric field strength is in fact the same. And the electric field strength, so for parallel plates, I'm going to cut this off. The electric field strength for parallel plates um, is equal to the um, potential difference, V in our case is 400 volts, divided by the distance between them. And the distance between them is in fact that distance there, D, whatever it is. And using SI units, we find the electric field strength is in fact in volts per meter. And in fact, um, or in fact, it could be, if you're thinking about electric field strength, um, is equal to, could be in, in uh, another unit as well. Because you've got electric field strength equals force over charge. So that means it can also be in newtons, coulomb to the minus one. Similarly, the electric field strength here could be given in volts per meter, or in fact, newtons. Per coulomb. Now, also on the, on this is we'll notice that the lines of equal uh, potential. So we can have in here we can we can have that there. Let's not go to the curvy bit; it's a bit confusing. So for lines of equal potential, we'll have lines going across there. So that will be like this. So that would be potential of naught. This will be potential going in that direction of 100 volts, 200 volts, and 300 volts. So you'll find that you'll have equal potential going in that direction, uh, going across there, and going there, you have lines of um, equal field strength. So if your charged particle uh, were put um, into here, let's say this was an electron here, it would feel a force acting in the opposite direction the electric field lines, that would feel the force, and the magnitude of the force would simply be equal to the electric field strength times um, the charge. Let's say that is charge little q. That's the force it would feel, would be E times q, which of course would be equal to E, which is V over D. And that would be times the charge Q as well. Okay. 